Hey folks, welcome back to Endless Ocean Blue World. With me today is, well, everybody. Hey! Hello. Just Hello assume house. I'm here, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> if you haven't assumed I'm here for everything, it's, yeah. It's not always true, though. Yeah, but you should just assume it to be the case. At the times he's not here, he's actually in the background, just hiding behind a thing, staring. I think you'll find the episodes where I'm not there, I still show up. It's true. You tend to with the coins. Let's see. Well, I guess we should go save those baby seals. And adult seals. Why just don't we just wait home. another three months? Look, they need to be saved now. All right. The time is right for saving. And savings. Are you saving them from other humans? No, we're saving them because they're lost. Little seal how, lost. How do seals get lost? They're met well, He's really they mad that you took this long. Because they're Mediterranean monk seals, so they're really critically endangered. So All right, you got to be extra safe. About are that. they in the Mediterranean? Yes. yes. They're in the how Aegean. are they lost? They're they're oh they're, they're in the Aegean. Lost from their collar. Yeah. But the Aegean is part of the Mediterranean. It's a subsea. It must be too weak to return to the colony. That outfit, I swear. Yeah, what's going on with your with the outfit back there? Which one, GGs? <laughs> You leave Gigi alone. He is awesome. Gigi's outfit is amazing. Is he, he is a fire friend, elemental? Sort of. Uh, second <laughs> question: Why is he on a boat if he's a fire elemental? <laughs> Follow-up question: Should he be on the boat if he's a follow if he's a fire elemental? <laughs> well, it depends. How much do you trust fire elementals around compressed oxygen? Not much. Look. His main thing is that he loves salvage, so he, he got that wetsuit from somebody's corpse. There you go. I gotcha. Possibly a wizard. That's a lot of sharks. Yeah, they do that. That's oh, okay. a lot of sharks. They don't actually do that. <laughs> yeah, those are great whites. They don't Aren't do they that. fish? Don't they, are, don't they school? Is the giant school of shark fish. eating people as fast as possible? Isn't that what mm. movies and television have told me? Something like that. Okay. That, that is what movies and television have told you. <laughs> a semicolon, however... Not necessarily true. So, the thing, other thing we need to find here is that there's that bird-haired man wanted us to find a ring to prov prove that we were a super diver, whatever that means. So he just tucked a ring off the side of his boat? A apparently he's just like, oh, there's a ring somewhere. It's near the boat wreck. Maybe you can find <laughs> it. Maybe you won't. somewhere in the ocean. Just kind of <laughs> Exactly. <find it. laughs> Pretty much. So you could, you could honestly just go to, like, the marks and buy a, a, no, a ring. No, he wants a specific ring. He wants the tourmaline ring. Can't put that barrel in your bag. Who the fuck do you think you are, Donkey Kong? The villager. I think that seal looks out of place, so I'm thinking he might be one of ours. You can't our own a seal. seal. That seal does not want you near. Yeah, he looks pretty sick. Is that what the purple means? Yes. I forget how Just... bad purple is. <laughs> is that worse bad. or better than red? I don't know, actually. I think it's worse. What kind of weird alien thing did you just do to that monk seal? I, I used my electromagnetic healing powers. Using my oh, okay. electromagnetic healing have you, ever, have you ever played Team Fortress 2? Yes. <laughs> are, you, are you aware of the medic's power? Yes. Same thing. Okay. Pretty much. Move Except charge, for the power of electricity. Technology in 2013, everybody. Yeah. So... So, oh. rings... I think it should be. Anybody they, see any ring near this. they said it was near this, this boat wreck right here, so it should be around here somewhere. Maybe they're full of shit. Oh, it's my time. Oh, <laughs> Delphinus is a dolphin. Come on now. According to legend, Poseidon wanted to marry the narrated Amphitrite. She, wanting to protect her virginity, fled to the Atlas Mountains. Poseidon sent several animals to look for her, and somehow a fucking dolphin found her in the mountains. Fucking mountain dolphin. The dolphin somehow convinced her Poseidon was a cool guy and was shot in the sky as thanks for being a hell of a wingman. The best dolphin ever. And now he lives in the sky. I have no idea how the dolphin found her in the mountains. Mountain dolphin. Yeah. It, they don't exist anymore because Zeus fired them into the sky. Thanks a lot, broom. <laughs> hey, now. Oh, don't pretend they didn't make things go extinct. Yeah. Especially from the Atlas Mountains. Well, my my hey now wasn't so much that as it was probably delicious. I think the biggest thing they made go extinct was, in fact, the Carthaginians. 
And furthermore, <laughs> it is my opinion that Carthage should be destroyed. What do you know? You found a fucking ring in the sand. Maybe that was hey. it. Maybe it's it. Maybe it's not it. We'll find out. Okay, now we gotta look for more stick, you know, seals somewhere. God, rings and seals. And, Are and you sure they're still alive? In, in, in also we Rome's favor, maybe the maybe this mountain seal started it. Maybe. Well, they were dolphins. Dolphins, whatever they were. <laughs> they're dead now and we don't care. Yep. I care. I care deeply about the mountain dolphins and their new star home. Well, now he lives in space, so of course you should care. Congratulations, you found the cross section as, of you and Tears As seen interest. in the no, fabulous no. game Sword of the Stars 1 and 2. With <laughs> well, maybe, no, maybe, no, it sounds like this is like an H.P. Lovecraft plot or something. Like, it's like, turns out there are actually crazy dolphin spacemen. Yeah, probably. Those giant trevally. I don't give a fuck. They don't. They look dead inside. Then that attack comes with being a giant trevally. Hey, another ring. Oh my maybe god, maybe the that's ring. the ring. You're just finding rings all over the place. I'm pretty sure we'll... Well, I, I say that, but I doubt... I don't even know. You'll have to get those appraised before you know what kind of ring they are, aren't they? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. If you're good enough, you can see what your radar is detecting them as, and you can deduce if you should pick it up or not. Oh. Because bone, not good enough, bone will react differently to a ruby ring or whatever. Ah. I forgot what the ring was made out of, so it was completely oh, to me. That's a hell of a big ray. Yeah, it is. Rays are awesome. I Ooh, like oh, rays. Ray. Rays are my favorite sharkotype. Thank you for that word, dears. You're welcome. Sharkotype. It's like phenotype, both sharks. Yes. Oh, it's me again. Cygnus, the swan, is a Ptolemaic constellation that contains the asterism known as the Northern Cross. In Greek mythology, Orpheus was changed into a swan upon his death and placed in the sky next to his lyre, the constellation Lyra. Of note, Lyra was seen as a vulture by the Romans, and together with Cygnus and Aquila, may have represented the Stymphalian birds of Hercules' labors. What's going on here? We found a thing. A crevice. Yeah. A found a dome. Room. Congrats on the dome. Sounds like you found some sort of dome. Take a look at it. Okay. Oh. Hey. Whoa. It's a, bunch of, it's a bunch of Greek dudes hanging out with dolphins. It's a coliseum. Not not quite, but sort of. Not, not really. anything at all, but that's okay. <laughs> good, good, good effort. Good if, yeah, good try. I apologize. We're, yeah, we're glad is... that you're trying. This is one of the neat little things you can find. You can surface in the right area. And now stingrays live here! Maybe the Greeks turned into these blue-spotted ribbon-tail rays. Or maybe they just, you know, they, they formed oh, other... Oh, look at that. It's another peoples. seal. Yeah. The Greeks still exist, Zorak. I know. They're a people. <laughs> They're having a lot of money troubles right yes, now. Yes, they Maybe are. they wish they were ribbon-tail. Maybe if you stop taking all the rings from the region. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's their fault for not exploiting this portion of their economy. The stingrays? And then a bunch of them elected a bunch of fascists. Alright, I think you're a little far there. I, I'm, I'm oh. lost. Yeah, me too. Calling it like it is. But rather than go into modern politics and Nazis and whatnot, I think I'm going to talk instead about a Greek civilization that predates even the classical Greece of Athens and Sparta and whatnot. A Bronze Age civilization from the Mediterranean that appeared, predated even the Mycenaeans ultimately, and then disappeared as a civilization rather mysteriously. I'm of course talking about the Minoans. The Minoans were a Bronze Age civilization that arose in the Mediterranean island of Crete in the distant 27th century BCE. The Minoans disappeared around the 15th century BCE and were completely forgotten to history until their rediscovery in the 20th century by archaeologist Arthur Evans. What we know about the Minoans is limited to what archaeological material we've recovered. The very name we ascribe to the civilization is itself a construct, derived from Minos, the mythical king of Crete, who liked feeding kids to his wife's bullman son, the Minotaur. 
The islands have a long history of human habitation, and the Minoan civilization was just one of many to flourish there. It's believed that Crete was inhabited as early as 128,000 years before the Common Era, in the Paleolithic Age. It was not until 5000 BC that agriculture and civilization began to appear on the island. The actual lines that divide this early Cretan civilization and the Minoan civilization, as well as the Minoans and the civilizations that followed, are difficult to tie down exactly. We don't have much in the way of writing or dates within the Minoans' own influence. The best archaeologists can do is using pottery and the architectural styles that have been excavated to essentially divide up and map the development of the Minoan civilization, using major changes in events to divvy it up. Pre-ceramic relics have been discovered at least to around 7000 BC, with evidence of open fishermen villages and agriculture being pursued on the island's open Misara plain. The Bronze Age began in Crete around 2700 BC, characterized by the appearance of copper and, of course, its alloy bronze, as in the name, as well as proto-writing. This roughly accompanied the same time that the Bronze Age began to appear throughout Greece as a whole, and the expanding trade network that followed quickly brought Crete into the limelight as a major trading power in the Mediterranean. Now, one of the major telltale signs of the events that changed the Minoan civilization, both politically and physically, is the development of palaces on the island. It's believed that the ascension of a monarchical style power led to the beginning of the construction of palaces on the island, with styles and ages that allow archaeologists to track the development of the civilization as a whole during the Bronze Age. Minoan chronology is essentially divided then into four parts. The pre-palatial period, the times that predate the palaces appearing on the island, the proto-palatial period, where you start getting the old palaces, the neo-palatial period, palaces, and the post-palatial period where we start having the last period of palatial development on Crete. We know that Crete was a trading power from the effect Minoan handicrafts had on the Greek mainland. The influx of the Minoan's material culture had such an effect on the Greek mainland that archaeologists have been able to trace their influence through the style of architecture as well as the generally directly Minoan-made goods throughout the Aegean. The reach of the Minoans was far enough that they interacted even with the Egyptians, whose own developments, including their hieroglyphics, inspired the Minoans' own. The Minoans developed a pictographic style based on the Egyptians' hieroglyphs, which ended up leading to the linear script of the Minoans and the linear B script of the later Mycenaeans. The different palatial periods are divided by major cataclysmic events on the island of Crete, which shaped the Minoan civilization. Around 1700 BCE, towards the end of the old palatial period, there was an extremely large disturbance on Crete, probably an earthquake, though possibly an invasion from the mainland. This resulted in many of the palaces on the island being destroyed. However, following this period, the neo-palatial period heralded a reconstruction of many palaces and a growing of the population. By 1450 BC, however, Another catastrophe of some sort struck the Minoans, and rather than bounding back as before, their influence began to wane. Many of the palaces and cities on the island suffered, likely due to a volcanic event by the cataclysmic eruption of the nearby island volcano Othera, one of the largest in recorded history, to the point that it's believed to be the inspiration for the tale of Atlantis. The Minoans' weakness is also believed to have been driven by the waning need in tin. Crete had an abundance of the material and maintained a substantial portion of its trade in the Aegean, as it was crucial for the creation of bronze. However, as interest in bronze faded in favor of iron, the value of tin plummeted. The Minoans were then invaded by the Mycenaeans from mainland Greece, who absorbed the Minoan culture, religion, and art, and society into their own. Speaking of the culture, we don't actually know that much about the Minoans, beyond those that they've influenced. They traded, like I said, in tin, pottery, and apparently ideas. They also traded in saffron, a value luxury of the period. Objects of Minoan manufacture have been found as far east as Mesopotamia and as far west as the coast of Spain, which is pretty amazing for the time. For Minoan frescoes, we know that the Minoan men wore loincloths or kilts, while the women wore robes with exposed chests. The religion apparently revolved much around female deities, and their society was apparently relatively equal for the period. Men and women were depicted engaging in sports together, and the religious class appears to have been highly female. 
It's thought that the religion, and perhaps its society as a whole, was matriarchal, fo focusing entirely on female deities whose identities we can frankly only guess at, though it is known that they held sacred as symbols the bull and its horns, perhaps an inspiration for the tales of the Minotaur, as well as the Labrys, the double-headed axe, the pillar, the serpent, the sun disk, and the tree. As little as we know of the Minoan as a people, we do know one thing. They were really important for the Aegean as a whole, and by connection through the ages, us. Their influence on the Mycenaeans in the later Bronze Age inspired the tales and legends of classical Greece, and directly through the years, much of our own modern culture, to be sure. Even if we can't trace directly all the little things that they influence in what we are today, and where they came from, the Minoans themselves are a crucial part of that past, a crucial part of the Bronze Age development of Europe, and that in and of itself is pretty neat. The history of the Mediterranean in general is pretty long and complicated and just nutso. And then you get Nazis involved, which, you know, yeah. Norm is a small constellation defined by Abbe de la Kyle in the 1750s. Referring to a right angle, Norm represents a carpenter's square used by carpenters on exploratory vessels. La Kyle did this. No monsters. All mundane things. Fuck that guy. Let's stop talking about Nazis. You say that until we start finding all this Nazi gold, and the Nazi gold- There's no Nazi gold! Could the coins be Nazi gold? Oh. They could be, we don't know. Not. This is This is actually one of the Uncharted games. Oh no! I can't wait for the gunfight later where you have to team up with Nathan Drake. Uh, Why you gotta then, spoil your own LP? Then we, gotta, then we get to start the murder simulator. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> and, and, and then Sully joins our dive team. I didn't want to say great. it, but once the Mandelbrot gets to level 3, he can actually hold a firearm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Since we're just spoiling favorite. things. <laughs> it's my favorite dolphin upgrade. The co-op part's going to be great. God. Four-player tag team. Deathmatch is where it's at. I can't wait to get up on all those Endless Ocean Blue World leaderboards. I like Capture the Flag, where you have to beat a dolphin unconscious and then take it across the map. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> it happens. I remember when all those dolphin rights groups got literally pissed off about that, huh? A box you found a box! Big. It's too big. It's too big, but not the barrel. Hey, white tip reef dart, you just hang I know, he shoved a barrel in his pants, but the I tried box. to. It's too big. I know, I tried to. Oh, okay. Barrel and I oh, failed. okay. Hey, There's but, an eel uh, just hanging out in that. Hey, I love that they stuff shove them in random things, those mores. Well, more I do that. Yep. It's, ah, it's true. They do that. It's, it's a nice detail that they put into the game. Yes. I'm just imagining they're going around and they just see this thing like, we need to shove a moray in this. Get the moray guy in here. We need to program the moray right there. The little hunchback little guy comes in. It's like, you need it there. And he just leaves. <laughs> hey, look at that guy. <laughs> hey, I found a peacock Blenny. Hey. I'm a Blenny. He does what Blennies do, and that's usually just hiding and things, peering out. A peacock Blenny. Yep. He's shy. Nice coloring. Fish names Aww. are funny. Yeah, they are. Seals. Cross rift. Bottlenoses live here. Yes, they do. They also find something kind of neat if you come back here at night. Ooh, we'll have to do that sometime. <laughs> I come back and all of a sudden it's just Thanatos is emerging from the cross rift. <laughs> <laughs> Tears me in half. Why, Red? Why? There's a note on the cliff on the way out just says, told ya. Red. That's oh, a slug. Ah, oh, I love sea slugs. You do. Sea slugs are pretty neat. These guys. Take a picture of that slug. The trivia on this one talks about mutations among sea slugs, because they they found it's pretty common for them to mutate. They found two-headed sea slugs. That's why there's such genetic diversity amongst them. 
That's one of their major evolutionary advantages is that there's so many damn variants of sea slugs because there's just something about them that's sort of just really adaptable in that regard. Ooh, the hey, cowtail rays. Found these guys hidden here. Holy cow! Look at that reef shark. I'm more interested in now. That Ray just look, kind of looks like a fantasy villain. Doesn't it? Critter. Nature's wonderful like that. Yeah. Uh, the thing about uh, Rays is that they have their breathing holes near their eyes, on top of their head. So they can just lay down on the ground. So That's why they're flat. Chill out. Yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, I knew that there'd be a thing here. Did you? Well, Are you I, just I saying that matter of fact because it started reacting? No, well, I figured when I looked. So it's like, ah. Take their juice. Aw, <laughs> they're kissing! Aww. Aww. Now, probably, I'm guessing, we did see a seal over here before. I think? We see a lot of things over here before. Like Thanatos. Well, it's during the day. He doesn't show up here during the day, right? Let's stay away see? from Thanatos uh, if possible. I, I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't show up here. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. He would have gotten us by now if he did, so... He could be on his coffee break. The meager, yeah, fist pump. I identified the meager again. <laughs> John Dory, those own Zeus Faber. Oh, bunch of cloudy cat sharks hanging out down here. I don't remember Octopus. that one. Something towards on me. Wait, the shark. Oh, 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 God! It's Thanatos. Yeah, you should. Move and stop being wrong about things. I guess kind of. Just don't stay still. Are you Where crazy? Is Where is he? I thought it lurking. Maybe... Was it when he does. Thanatos? Where the hell is he? Ah! You know he's somewhere, but you just don't know where, do you? No, I don't. He's actually the cliff face. <laughs> Comes through it like. A ghost. Oh yeah, swim towards the sharks. Oh, oh those are spectrum. hammerheads. Let's circle around. You don't know what vile influence Thanatos has. I would assume shark influence. Yeah. So teeth and eating. You just swimming in circles trying to confuse Thanatos, or? <laughs> no, I was I was circling back around because I'm pretty sure the seal has to be over here. Sneak up on him, hit him with well, another shark. Well, Oceana mentioned when we talked to her, but when we went down, she gave told us roughly where the ideas of where the seals were, where they were sighted. Oh yeah, that that that. Oh yeah, so Thanatos does exist here during the day. Oh. Okay, never mind. Get Good job. out of here. <laughs> Leaving this area. So what now? Well, I'm pretty sure the seal well, is... There, there, there there's a is. lot of things out here. He's probably down with the sharks. Well, yes, I, that's why I need to save him. That might be why the sharks are here. Probably, but I need to save him. It is our mission. But you are going to die. That's fine. No! If you die in the game... The you die piece. for real. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> you're, you're so dead. No, I'm good. I I'll head over here by the hammerheads. See, there's. Well, you think those great whites will come seal. at you? See, there's the seal right there. Hey, there's, there's a great, a great white, white right there coming at you. Yeah, I know, but I need to say, it's, it's just a great white. Don't listen shark. to these guys. Swim directly at the seal. It'll it's be fine. That's a great white shark. Yeah, the hammerheads will defend you from the great white. <laughs> they'll hit. I they'll hit him. That little buzzing's getting faster. It's yeah. It's I can't help but notice good. there's a great white behind you. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> hey, look! It's your buddy. Oh, oh you got hit. hit. Me. Oceana just doesn't care. Oh, he was healed too. We just wanted a hug. He just wanted a hug. If that's what you're Who calling it, sure. A hug. Kill that barracuda. Uh, I'm lost. I need to find the seal. But there's a barracuda that's injured. Barracudas aren't critically endangered. Seal is. They could be. 
Mm, not yet. I have a knife. Going to be because you didn't heal it. Oh yeah, he didn't even need the healing. He was there. So he is the a barracuda. You're a monster. I have a limited ability to influence past me. Yeah, we treat all the seals. Sharks. Ah! Sharks. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Many <God>. sharks. <laughs> oh, Shanna, I think it's time to leave. You know I hate sharks. Why are you doing this? I'm retreating, Oceana. Fight them off. Keep them busy. Knocks her helmet Retreat. off. Good luck. Good luck, seal. We healed it. It should be fine. Maybe. Those sharks didn't wound it in the first place at all. <laughs> well, we did a thing. Good job, team. Clap, Yay, clap, team. Clap, clap, clap. Back to old night. You left that life. barracuda to die. No, there's, there's there's always sick fish. You can't heal all the fish. It's gotta Sounds like that. a challenge to me. You're not trying hard enough. Those are quitting words. That doesn't sound like the Team America spirit. Yeah. <laughs> I think that you should just stick a nine volt like the car battery into the water and heal every fish. No, wow. it's got need a special kind of electricity. Heal an octopus. I will just drop power lines into the ocean. We will feel, heal every fish at once. Yeah. Hey, Couture ah, fins. I got new fins. Couture I don't know. Fins. I like my science fins. Couture. This is for healing the seals, right? Yes. Tourists were scaring them for fun. Those bastards. So just beanbag the tourists. They'll be fine. Shotgun blast. We were able to save bag. them. Great. Been quick enough. They may have been we were able to save them quick enough. It only took us. How many updates did this take us? I don't know. Like six? <laughs> All of them. The entirety All of the, the LP until now. <laughs> we had to do other things. I mean, it was travel time. It's been a few months. Yeah, it's been a few weeks, maybe. Months. Oh, no. It's not even their fault. Turns out the name people are dicks. Are they delicious? No. And then we should save Maybe. them. We should save delicious things most of all, though. Yes. For later. Indeed. <laughs> but then they won't be delicious now. True. Oh, they're still delicious now. You just gotta have self-control. Oh, hey! God! Yeah, we're not using those. Well, those are the ugliest things that I've seen so far. <laughs> Back to the science fins. Those are amazing. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Wait. Don't, don't listen to Hulk, Matt. He doesn't know what fashion is. I feel something calling to me. Is it a tiki idol? It's a tiki idol. Oh, yeah, I was right. Okay. He wants you to go you, find Mammoth. You convinced me. Roger that, Tiki Idol. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, okay. I guess. He something. wants us to go kill some northern elephants or something. Elephant tusks. I'm in. I am I am totally set up for this. Nice. I will meet you in Canada. So Bring a snowmobile and a giant spear. Yes. Let's call Nancy get our things appraised quick. See if we found that bird hair man's bird hair ring. I don't think the ring. Oh, well, maybe we'll have a little bird hair on it. Huh? I presume he dropped it, right? No, you don't know maybe that. just he was looking for it, or what? I I assume oh, he no. just tucked it off the side of his boat to see if you'd go get it. Yeah. Empty bottle. You found trash. Are you glad you robbed those stingrays. Hey, I found a ring made out of bone. It's ivory. Yay. That was an ivory hey, ring, not a bone ring. Yeah, that's what we were looking for. Ivory. Ivory's the same thing as bone. Yes, but they are different items. Ivory Ew, ring and bone ring. Pickled olives. That's Congrats. Silly, but okay. That's just old. They're spoiled. That's why no, they're worth they're ten. The pickled, they'll last forever. Yeah. Right? That's how pickling things work? Yes. Except right? for no. Just like jerkying something, it's now immune to time itself. Yep. Puts it in a type exactly. of stasis. Chrono jerky. You just made that up. He did. You should <laughs> patent it. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Talking to us. Loss. Oh no. An amnesiac, huh? This is just like one of my Japanese animes. That guy just made that story up. Probably. 
Um, yeah, maybe. We can help her out. Oh, we get paid for it, too, so hey, oh, yeah, why whatever. not? Stick your camera we'll in the water We'll help this amnesiac guy things. for money. Well, what does he want a photo of? Something stupid, I bet. Oh, my God. I think I already like this guy we a lot. We have to help Even this if... man. <laughs> this brain yeah, we... he has no memory, but <laughs> he's amazing. We need to get some pictures of humphead rasses. That is the thing do we need it. to do. I'm counting on you. On the bright side, it's not like he's getting any more music, so it can kind of wait. I don't know that. <laughs> Falls down. I mean, that's stairs, the nice, the nice know thing, you know. <laughs> the memories aren't year. getting any more lost. Accidentally takes a softball to the noggin, doesn't know what a humphead rass is anymore. <laughs> Let's see what we, we got. Crap we found. We found some marble. Walks outside, get hit by a meteor, doesn't know what food is. <laughs> Baseball. Baseball! Boy. Okay, Matt, tell us about baseball. Okay, so there's National League and American League. I'm tired of this. Oh. Tell us about empty bottles. Um, they used to have things in them. Oh. Tell us about pickled olives. See, they're probably still they're edible. They're gross and spoiled. I told you. Hey, look, it's that, that juice you stole. <laughs> Holy juice. You stole my drink. How did mountain juice get into the ocean? None of this... Uh, Tol is totally it? juice. Sparkle totally juice. juice. It is Not a soft drink. All. It's popular in Sweden and Norway. Definitely not a bottle of champagne. Oh, drinks. Is porosity a word? Maybe. I don't think that it is. I'm not 100% on that one way or the other. I'm like, oh... Inspires creativity and artists may have been tasked to you by a bird-haired man. Guess what? If that if that's really that design, people went to the bathroom in it. Yep. Ugh. Congrats that's... on your Staffordshire pot. Yep. Ugh. Well, I sold it, so it's fine. What about the Jing Day pottery? That's made for crashing over somebody's head in a, in a, a goofy slapstick movie. Yeah. A piggy bank. I Jackie like this Cam one because it's so valuable because of the coins that were inside of it. It's full of old <laughs> and It's not even a piggy bank. It's it's just a box. It is. Piggy banks are supposed to look like a pig. That's the whole point. <laughs> well, Japan hasn't discovered pig technology yet, okay? It's true. <laughs> the pig paradigm is a mystery to them. It's actually named after the pig clay common to the Egyptian banks. I think you're lying. No. P-Y-G-G. -G. Look it up. Oh, okay. I don't know much about Egypt yet. Well, there you Coins. Go. Okay, other than the fact that... I need those coins! That's my deal! Other than the fact that the Romans know, we got there and the took coins. them over. And then they became cool. Oh, we have quests. Let's look at all these quests we have right now. Congrats on your new thing. <laughs> Was it me? Did I have the accident? No, it's, it's a humphead Would you like a picture guy. of a humphead rass? Did a humphead rass have an accident? Possibly. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Guys. An injured penguin has been sought. We need to go to the Weddell Sea and find that penguin. How many that penguins pen could there be in the Weddell Sea? <laughs> One more than right? you thought there was. Oh. Potentially one less if we wait too long. Ah, oh, well. But on the other hand, this, this tiki seemed pretty convincing. We heard a lot of mysterious voices. Yeah, I've noticed that, but you know, the thing is, I, I think we do need to help the tiki first. Because he is a Tiki. What? Look, you don't fuck with, with Tiki gods. Zorak's got a point. I've seen the Brady Bunch. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> they learned the lesson. <laughs> Great. We, we've seen I think there may have been right? a. That's a really big sandwich. I about that too. It is. That sandwich has a lot of detail. It's very She's big. That hungry. sandwich has also been there for weeks. <laughs> no, it's a new it's sandwich. Green. They're constantly replenishing it. They eat so many sandwiches. Regenerating sandwich. <laughs> the oh my infinite God, sandwich. Biology you could be a turtle frosh. Or it could be a biology ibis. Yes! I'll buy a ibis. Oh, that's it. 